2,000 years after the departure of Jesus Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. Everything that we're talking about it, we learn from the so-called white people. Yes or not? Yeah. Yeah. Even the way that we answer or the way that we're thinking yes, about yes, it yes. is because the white people in the Christian church teach us how to deal with another thing. For example, give uh, Mark 721. Because sometimes we think about our heart. Where where is located our heart? The, uh, right here or right here? Our soul. Our soul. Okay. I don't use my mind. I use my heart. Okay. When I talk to Jesus. Mark. I talk to God, I talk to Jesus. I tell you, look inside my heart. Okay. okay. Like, words don't mean a lot. Words mean nothing. Okay. Yeah. 721. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. What is your name, bro? Charles. John? Charles. Charles. Okay. For from within, out of the heart of men. Proceed evil thoughts. Now, Christ says, out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts. Now, from your heart right here, proceed the evil thoughts? Yeah. yeah. Or from here? I believe it comes from both. From both? Yeah. yeah. It, your heart is your mind. Yeah. Read it For from within, okay. out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Evil thoughts? Adultery. Adultery proceed from here or from here? Don't you think you're yeah. yeah. Fornication. Fornication comes from here or from here? Fornication comes from here. For your mind. Murders, death, covetousness, wickedness. All those things yeah. proceed from your brain. Huh? Yeah. Now know your heart. Now when you see that, that you believe in your heart that you can do this and do that, this is not the most high. It's because we've been adulterated by the so-called white people. And then we, we learn how to love everybody to include us in their work. And the thing that they do, we have to be uh, emulate or be, you know, uh, adapted to their work. That's what we say, oh, we love everybody, we do this, we, because we be adopted. Go John to the time. Because we have... believe that's a good thing, because why wouldn't that be a good thing? Like what? Giving love, giving... Yeah, but the love that we're supposed to give is what? One to another. Where is the love that we're supposed to give one to another? What is the love that you had to uh, give it to? Me? The love? The love. It comes from all the pens. Where it comes give me love. Out of my mouth, out of my heart. This is the, the point. Giving. We, we be learned the way that we be like, uh, we act like women right now. That's oh, the I, I see the new world now? Yeah, yeah. yeah the no men, the black and the Spanish men right now, yeah. we act and we talk like yeah. the women. Yeah. Not like right. men. Nah. Because we're talking about love, heart, all yeah. the yeah. This is never in the Bible. we never been like that. You understand what I mean? We have to come back to the nationality of the most I give to us. Please, love. First John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. Now this is the love that you're supposed to be giving to me like the most I giving to us, no? Yes? Yes or no? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. For this yeah. is the love of God. This is the love that we're supposed to have to the most high, even to our people. That we keep his commandments. That we the love that we're supposed to give one to another is what? Keep the commandments. For example, today is a Sabbath. It's a commandment. Now, my love unto you is what given to you the love 
Sabbath. Of the Sabbath. Now you can follow the law for the Sabbath day. Yes or no? That's the law that we're giving to you. But we talk right now that the law that we're supposed to give one to another is clothes, food, whatever, because the proper white people giving that idea to us onto our mind. This is the whole point. Do you understand what it is, brother? Yeah. Now go to uh, uh, Jeremiah 17. You think Jesus Yes. Or remember, no, 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 no. Remember this. When Christ was teaching the people, for example, and giving food to the people, was every day giving food to the people for one day or two days? Now we're teaching the people. Now Christ knows the mind of the people. Those people will follow Christ. Remember when Christ uh, given the, the 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 fish and the bread to the five thousand people, for example, they feed the people. Those people, they was waiting for him. They was following him. You understand what I mean? It's not that like Christ was walking by and see somebody sit down right here and give him the bread. Those people was listen to him. Those people were follow him, and then those people was five hundred people. They didn't have enough money to go. Remember, they was outside the city. It was it was in the store or whatever that they can buy something to eat. They had to stay there without eat anything. That Christ, give me that prison. Look about that prison. Try, uh, try, uh, fill the five, five hundred people. The point is five thousand. The point is this: those people was outside the city. They don't have no money, and then they were hungry. And then Christ, Christ was oh, those people. They the city is is, is is far. They don't have nothing to eat. He, you know, he, he feels sorry that was giving the food. It wasn't like, like today, that the white people that do see somebody sit down on the floor and you're walking by, and then you see the people, oh shoot, let me give him some food or die. You don't know if this guy is, is a monitor or, or, or a thief or whatever, and then he, you know, he had no energy to do anything, and you give him food, and this guy goes strong and then kills somebody. You understand what I mean? You got it? The point is this, the way that we're thinking that we can tell somebody is the way that the so-called white people given to the knowledge of us. We have to leave this uh, idea and then come back to the Bible sometimes. Because you use that, that prison right now, I want to explain that prison that you were thinking about it, that it's not the way that the so-called white people is, you know, teach us to do it. Matthew chapter 14 and verse 15. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a desert place. He said what? A desert place. Remember, those 500 people was in the desert place. It's, it, it wasn't like a desert, like you know, had nothing. It was like you know, a clean area. Uh, this is a desert place, and the time is now past. Now the time is late. Yes, sir. Send the multitude away that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victory. Now the, the disciples of Christ, you see, this is a desert place. It's no place to buy anything. Then you no. Know, Send those people to go to the different places and buy food to eat. Remember, those people was following him. Remember, they was listening to what they say and following everyone. Yeah. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give ye them to eat. Now, because I know they know how to go. Give it you to eat. And they said unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. He said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break and gave the loaves to the disciples and the disciples to the multitude. Did you understand now? Well, the, the point is this, it wasn't like, like, uh, like, uh, like now, you have any place or whatever. It was a, a specific situation that Christ said, okay, let me do this, let me do that. It's not like we had to do what the so-called white people teach us to do. We're supposed to come one to another and help one to another. But when we keep the commandment, you understand what I mean? Because I don't know. You obviously, you don't know the commandment. You understand what I mean? You don't know the commandment. Yeah. You know the You know all of that? Okay. Give me a uh, number. Let me show you one commandment, a simple commandment. But our people don't follow that commandment. 
Numbers and, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them. No, the children of Israel is us, the so called blast in Spanish. Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. Now, the most I command them to us to mark fringes in the border of our land. What is the fringe? What is that? Fringes. The most I command them to us to wear this kind of thing. For what? Uh, throughout their generation, and that they put it on the fringe of the borders of the ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. Now, this fringe right here is to remember the commandment of the Mosai and do the commandment of the Mosai. Because when we not do the commandment of the Mosai, what happens? We start following the commandment of the other people, of the other nation. Mm -hmm. Like for example, fill, uh, giving food to everybody is the commandment of the Mosai or the commandment of the so-called white people? White people. The white people. But you follow that because you're thinking about this right thing to do it. Because they teach you that you feel sorry if you didn't do it. Sometimes you walk and you see somebody, even if it's our own people. It's a, it's an, and then you, oh, I feel sorry for the guy, man. Let me help. Because what? We we uh, our mind was destroyed. You don't know that that guy's a drug dealer or like the one said of the rapist. And it shall be up unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and do them and that ye seek not after your own after your own heart and your own eyes after which he used to go a whoring. Because what? When we now have fringes, we start to emulate the commandment of the other nation or the other people. And then that's why we start worshiping this guy. This is the commandment of the, of the other nation. Now we start worshiping the, the so-called white man as the Christ, as the Messiah, as the apostle, and the prophet. We start, even the most side, they painting him as a white guy. But nobody say anything. Because what we so destroyed, and then with that kind of spirit, we're gonna have. We have the spirit of the women upon us. The women are the feminine person upon us. You know what I'm saying? Sensible man. Yeah. We are sensible yes, man. Yes, yes, yes. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Because with that image right here, give me that in second Corinthians. With that image right here, there's coming another good news. Another spirit. You understand what I mean? That's what our people have right now. I think it's 13. This is the whole point. That's why we try to teach and guide our people to come back to the law of the Most High. Because it's the only way that we can become a man and a woman of the Most High. If now we became, that's why you're the, the society to, today is what? It's like the, the man is it's like a feminine, yeah, yeah, the women yeah. is masculine. Unisex. It's, it's yeah, like yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. Because what? We reject the commandment of the man. Exactly. We get words. Yeah. Yeah. About, about the, another Jesus. No, second 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 Corinthians. Yeah. Another Jesus. Alright, second Corinthians eleven and verse three. But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that's in Christ. Now, read again the But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. So, subtlety. For example, the so called white people, they have subtlety words for us. The way that we're supposed to be act, we're supposed to say, we're not supposed to uh, speak loud anymore, yeah. we're supposed to be soft, yeah. we're supposed to. You can't wear your beard anymore. Yeah, anymore? It looks, it looks dirty. Yeah. You're not supposed to even beat your own children. You have to talk with them. Or oh, a uh, time out. Or whatever. You know what I mean? All the subtlety that we think about this girl is not true at all. But I fear lest by any means as a certain begot the serpent beguiled Eve through I mean, his subtlety. I'm, 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 I'm so I'm your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. The simplicity. A simple thing about Christ. Christ was a simple. Christ, a black man, or the, the tribe of Judah, he came from the 12 of that, That's a simple thing. But now, the so called white people, they put it so complicated. They include all nations. They include that Christ was a uh, love all nations. Everybody can be saved. Everybody, you understand what I mean? They complicate your thing. Now our mind is corrupt. It's like we don't know what we can do with it. 
word. He that come and preaches another Jesus. Now, the so-called white people, they can preach this guy for me. Another Jesus. It's not the Jesus of the Bible. It's the Jesus that they created. Or if he receive another spirit. Now, then what is the spirit that came from that image right here? A feminine spirit. When you see the, 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 uh, the movie of, of Christ, how the I Jesus... The, or the, 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 last one the passion, what, yeah, whatever. Even the old one, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's the same one. You have a skinny white Jesus act like a feminine guy, talk so soft. You understand what I mean? It's not the Jesus of the Bible. The boss, the voice of Christ was like uh, of many words. Imagine. Very Read it now. out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it talks about when he went to the church, the turn over the table, the exactly. gambling. Yeah. Yeah, he, was, he wasn't doing this. Nah, he wasn't doing this. He was beating yeah. everybody. Yeah. You understand know what I mean? Yeah. The point is this. Read it again. Another spirit. For if he that come and preaches another Jesus of whom we have not preached. Because the apostles never teach that so called white people, Jesus, whatever. Read. Or if ye receive another spirit. Near spirit, a feminine spirit. A skinny guy with the hands like that, whatever, talking to himself, whatever. It's not the Jesus of the Bible. Which ye have not received. Nor received that spirit. Or another gospel. Or another gospel. That was what? God and uh, Christ came on unified all the nations of the hand. It's not in the Bible. It's not belong in the Bible. It's the so-called white people given to us. That's why our people integrate in their society. And we try to emulate everything that they do. If they shake the beard, we shake the beard. If they use, you know, uh, the pain, if the women use pain, our women use pain. You understand what I mean? We try to be like them to they not go against us. You understand what I mean, brother? This is the whole point. The Bible belongs to you and to me. And the Mosai is calling all the 12 tribes to unify. Give it Sarah Sephaniah 2. Unify the 12 tribes and came together because the so called, not just the so called white, white people, all the other nations, they don't like us. The East Indian don't like you. The Chinese don't like you. You understand what I mean? The East Indian, the Arab, most of those people don't like you. They hate us. You understand what I mean? So can I two and nine? Two and one. Two and one. Gather yourself together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. Read again. Gather yourselves together. The most I commanded to all that we supposed to came together. One nation, the so-called blast in Hispanics and then an American, a one nation. That's what the most I said. So I'll try it. That's well tried. Read again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. O nation not desired, because they don't like us. If they don't like us, we supposed to be separate from them. But we don't want that. We want to integrate with them, unify with them, everything. For example, you are all 50 something? You born in that area right here? Yeah. Not in this area, no. Okay. For no, example, in my hand. In my hand. Yeah. For example, in the 80s, in the 70s, in the 90 in the beginning, you have black and Hispanics that own business right here. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, in that part, remember uh, Martin Luther King, he has tried to integrate mm -hmm. our people and then we start to share business with them. Right. Now, and back in the day, we still have business. We were supposed to be self the thing between us. Yeah. Now, we integrate with them, we unify with them. Where are our business today? You don't see it anymore. No, they did justification. They raised the rent, so we don't even be here no more. Exactly. I don't want to ask us here no more. This is the whole point. It's all over. They don't like us. That's why we're supposed to be came together. Because when us as a nation, when we came together with them, what happens? We lose our power. Because we said what? Unify our identity. business. Yeah. It's actually unified business with the so-called white people. You don't have money, they have the money. What are gonna happen? They're gonna own you own later on. Slave. Exactly. This is the whole point. Still slaves. Gather yourself together. Yay, gather together, O nation not desired. Before what? Before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as a chaff. Before the, the Mosai claim. Because in the Mosai is saying Christ right now. Everybody gonna die. 
us gonna die with them because we are with them. The most I command, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, verse 3. Because the most I commanded to us, no marry them, because now I see a lot that black people and Hispanics marry white women. Even the white men marry our own sisters. The most I say, don't do it. Because the most I can right now is cry right now. Those people are gonna die. Because the most I commanded to us not to do it. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. We're not supposed to marry those people because I see right now walking by blacks and Hispanics marry white people or Chinese people or, or Japanese, whatever. Which I saw all the day long. Read again. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter shall not give unto the, his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. It's not because they are ugly. They are because, because they are fat. Because sometimes a lot of people think about the other nation. The, the most I say don't make it because they are ugly or whatever. Wow. It's not for that. Read it again. Read, continue reading. Mm -hmm. What is the point where the most I say don't do it? For they will turn away thy son from following me. Because what? When you marry another nation, what happens? They have all the different their ideologies, ideas, yeah. ideas yeah. of customs. Yeah. What happened with your with your with the identity? Exactly. I had a friend of mine. He's married. Uh, I think Korean or Japanese, I don't, I don't remember the, the nationality. But they worship in Buddha. But now, he lose his mind. Yeah. Now the way that he thinks, their children, they look and speak exactly like their mother. Now when you, you know, it's a righteous uh, uh, way. When you go inside those house, you have to take the shoes. Yeah. You know, they have a custom. But our custom, for the point is that he had to follow every custom that they do. That they do. Yeah. Really good. And they will turn away thy son from following me. No, he don't follow anything. He follow the way that they lead. You understand what I mean? I see with my own eyes. Yeah. That they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Now he follows one guy, just God. Exactly. We follow Buddha, we follow Christianity. Christianity is not in the Bible. No one, no idols. Exactly, but you start dealing with them other nations, then you're gonna start dealing with them idols too. Because oh shit, I have to give her a place for her things. This is the whole point. Now that my problem is this. Did you want to change? Did you, did you want to change your life according to the Bible? Yes or no? Of course. Of course. Now one step with this is that. Go, give me uh, the Leviticus 20 verse 4. This is one one step. The brother bring it out this way. I want to be serious. You understand? Know we, are, we, are, we are a man. You understand what I mean? Now we have to be really about the thing which we say. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Now, the point is this. The most I say that we're not supposed to shave the corner of the beard. Now, this is a simple law. It's, it, it's complicated to do that. It's easy, no? Now, my question to you, bro. Do you think that you can apply this a little lower? Yes. Yeah. I mean... Going through the Bible, it's, it's, it takes time, but it most definitely. Yeah, but it takes about two weeks. Yeah. It's not for today. <laughs> 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 like you. What is it? The, the point is this. The Bible commanded us to be perfect. We are not perfect. 48. We are commanded to be perfect. We can make mistakes. We may, all of us oh. make mistakes. But we have to fix the mistake and keep going. You have, you know, for example, if you have three steps up, you can fall two. But then after that, you have to build four. Now you have to be in the fourth step, not in the three when you fall in before. You understand what I mean? We have to keep falling and growing, falling and growing more. The, the level so we're supposed to be. You understand what I mean? But Matthew chapter 5 and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Christ commanded to all to be perfect. In the same way that the Mosai in heaven is perfect. You understand what I mean? That's what Christ commanded to us to be. It's not like that. We're not going to be perfect. People say we can, but we can. How we became perfect? How we became perfect? We the Bible we follow the Bible. the Bible. Whatever you learn, you have to apply. Go uh, hold this and go uh, 
sound like a <laughs> No problem, bro. We are here to think yeah, the yeah. way that we're supposed to be. Because you know and you see that our nation is not right. You understand what I mean? And we have to do something. We have to do something. We can't be playing game anymore. Mm -hmm. Now, for example, uh, yesterday, Donald Trump, you know, inauguration for him, you know, to be a president. Yeah. Yesterday. Now, a lot of black people, what do they do? They they do, uh, what do they say? Rice. Rice. Do crazy stuff because they are afraid of Donald Trump being a president, you know what I mean? Because Donald Trump is, is very straight, what do they say? Yeah. He don't like us. Yeah. Straight. He ain't got no hair in his tongue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But our people love them. They even bow for him. You understand know what I mean? Because our people had, you know, they thinking if they do, do something good for the white people, the white people gonna do something yeah. good for them. Back. But it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Psalm chapter 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Mosai is perfect. Converting the soul. Now the way that we <coughs> the only way that we became perfect is what? Read again. The law of the Lord is perfect. We apply the law. Now one law was about the beard. You understand what I mean? Now this when you grow your beard, it's one step to become perfect. Now for example, you have a hundred negative things in your life. Now you apply this law, you have 99 left. You understand? Know you have one step to become perfect. One by one, one by one. This is one. The fringes is another one. You understand what I mean? The Sabbath is another one. You know, the brothers bring it out. You're not supposed to buy yourself the Sabbath. You're not supposed to walk in the Sabbath. I heard that you were in the church or whatever, yeah. in the Sabbath. You're not supposed to be. Yeah. You understand what I mean? You had to make a way to start doing it. Because sometimes we, maybe we had, because we are not free in this country. We suppose sometimes we work for the white people, yeah. whatever, and they made us to work in the Sabbath. You understand what I mean? Yeah. But we had to find a way. Hello, I'm Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.